Hi, Kiki here, and I'm going to give you an overview of relay programming. Relay programming is based off of graph paper programming. And in this activity, you take the same idea of having an image that you're writing a program for, but now you're in relay teams. So you get your teams all lined up, preferably outside or in the gym. You get your teams all lined up and you make sure that you have an image for them placed at the opposite end of the relay course. You'll also have a notebook and a marker or a pen. On the count of three, you'll yell go, and the first person in line will dash to that image to see what it is. They'll then put down the first arrow that indicates what movement you should take to solve the puzzle and head to the back of the line. The next person in line then goes up and they can make one recommendation for a movement and then head back in line. If the next person runs up and sees that there is a bug in the program, all they're allowed to do is cross out the bug. They cannot then fix the bugs to get it back to where it should be in the program. They can only indicate there was a bug and that that instruction has been struck. Now, this is fantastic for so many reasons. One of the things is it encourages communication in line so that the students can talk about what they believe is going on and make sure they're all on the same page. It's also great for debugging because you're constantly reading other people's code, trying to decide if it is the right code, and then trying to figure out what you would do to fix that code. This is also a great example of trying to program under pressure and feeling how a deadline can make you rush and make you maybe make more mistakes than you would otherwise. So if you want kind of an authentic experience of what it's like to code in a team under deadline, this is the activity for you. Take a look at the lesson plan. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below or tweet me at Kiki versus IT. Happy coding.